pool side here at the condo. And I gotta tell you, man, I was in the sun for one hour and I got cooked. Literally cooked. I mean, I got burnt really bad. Then, I'd say a day or so after that, I get sick. Yeah, y'all, I end up getting sick. I got this really bad head cold, really bad virus. I mean, it, it kicked my ass. And it literally has taken almost over a week for it to come out of my system. So, for this year's trip, things didn't go quite the way I wanted them to. But, that's okay. There's always next time. I still have been able to take in a lot of the Philippines and it truly is just an honor to come to this country and just to deal with the people here. The people are just so loving, very humble, very generous and they always welcome you with open arms and with food. Like I need food. But I can honestly tell you, they don't eat the same way that we eat in the States. They eat a lot healthier, that's for sure. I have dropped a few pounds since being here. One, with their way of eating. Two, with the heat. So, there isn't anything about the Philippines that I don't like. Wait, I lied. I have to say the transportation, the getting from point A to B, can be pretty hectic, pretty pretty stressful. There's so much traffic here. You literally get backed up. I mean, you just sit in traffic. It's just, I mean, back in the States, we have, we have traffic, but not like this. I mean, you literally are just, <laughs> you're just edging inch by inch by inch. Just hoping there's going to be a break very soon when in fact, there usually is not. My wife, who is Filipino, she's absolutely wonderful. She, just like most Filipinos, has such a loving heart. Um, she has taken very good care of me here to make sure that I was getting my medicines. Actually, y'all, it, it got to the point to where I had to go see a doctor. Um, because it was progressively getting worse. And my throat hurt so bad that I couldn't barely even talk. I couldn't swallow. So I ended up going to see a doctor and was placed on different medications. Within two days, it started to lift out of my, my system, which was pretty awesome. So although things didn't go quite the way that I wanted them to here in the Philippines, it's still it's okay. I was not able to get a lot of footage that I wanted. Uh, I wanted to put together certain types of videos, but unfortunately, because I was sick, that wasn't gonna be possible. So, I do have footage of a lot of different things that I will be putting together. And uh, yeah, just make the best of what you got. You try to get as much video in as you possibly can when you're away and then hopefully you can put together a decent video for some people to watch. My YouTube channel has been really quiet since being here in the Philippines. Um, I haven't been able to really post anything because of the internet connections here in the Philippines. And come on Philippines, let's get it together. Can you please get an internet service that is gonna work? I mean, seriously, get with the rest of us, right? Get with the rest of us. With the technology that's out there today, there's no reason why you shouldn't have better internet service. Uh, what are the, <clears throat> what are some of the good things that I love about the Philippines? One is the people. Two is the climate. I love this type of climate. I love the heat. Um, although it gets pretty intense, a lot of times you have got to get out of the heat at certain points of the day. It's just too much. 
And here in the Philippines, it's pretty crazy because you'll see a lot of Filipinas, they're like driving on their scooters or just walking and they're wearing like hoodies and long sleeve shirts and, and you, I'm like sweating up a storm just looking at these people. Um, that's pretty nuts. <laughs> but that's just, they're used to it. Um, the food, food is really good. Um, like I said, they, they, they seem to eat a lot healthier here. Um, a lot of fish, a lot of, uh, they have pork. Um, it's just overall, it just seems to be a healthier way of eating. Unless you get into the deep fried stuff and now you're, you're just asking for a freaking heart attack. But um, overall, it's a pretty awesome country to come to. Uh, <clears throat> some of the things that I don't like, one is the internet service. Although, it has worked. I've been able to communicate back in the States. Uh, but they could have better service here for, for the people. The other thing is the traffic. The traffic's just unbearable. Uh, the, another thing is, don't, if you're in Manila, don't go out without toilet paper, y'all, because you will shit yourself. I ain't even joking, y'all. They don't have toilet paper in their bathrooms. <clears throat> There's no other way of me putting that. If you don't have, See, Americans are used to it being a certain way. Here in the Philippines, they don't necessarily use toilet paper. One would say, or ask, how do you wipe yourself? Well, they use water. They use water to cleanse themselves in the back. Um, that's just how it is. Me, personally, I'm not used to that. It would literally take me well, let me just put it this way. You'd have a mess if I'm trying to use water to clean out my freaking rear end. Um, just not used to that. That's another thing that uh, I was not aware of. Um, so you should have toilet paper if you're out and about. Um, there's certain products here they do not have. Things that you're used to in the States, they do not carry here. They do have specialty stores here, but um, unfortunately, they don't, they don't carry everything. Not everything is imported into the country. So there were some things that I have not been able to, to get while I'm here. And so I'm gonna have to wait until I either get back in the States or hopefully in our route back to the States, I'll find what I'm looking for. Overall, it's a pretty unique experience here. It's, man, it's just a different way of life. People here struggle. Uh, people here try really hard to just, just try to make that little bit of money to put some food on the table. Um, but, you know, the thing is, is, a lot of these people that don't have hardly anything give you the biggest smile and the biggest welcome and that's that's what really gets you so I would highly recommend the Philippines for anybody if you ever wanted to come to a, uh, a country where it has beautiful beaches beautiful people and food is pretty darn good uh, this is the place you want to go it's only come on y'all it's only 8,000 miles away from the states it isn't that bad it's only going to take you 20 plus hours to get here. Come on. That's the other thing. That is the other thing. Coming over here, we left Pittsburgh. Okay, we lift off out of Pittsburgh. We make it to Chicago. Now, we're taking off out of Chicago. We're on that international flight now. It's going to be like 14, 15 hour flight. And I'm I got the frickin' runs through this whole flight. I'm telling you, y'all, that is not a pleasant experience having the runs on a freaking airplane. It was, all in all, I gotta say, it was a pretty miserable flight for me. Um, so I'm hoping on our trip back, it's gonna be a lot more pleasant, a little more laid back, not worrying if I'm gonna crap my freaking pants or not. Because uh, we all know, 
international flights, you go back to use the bathroom, right? There's always somebody in it. So you gotta stand there and wait. Now you try to hold the runs. Yeah, it doesn't work, does it? It's not gonna work. So, yeah, it was quite an experience for me. We got two days left here, two full days. And I wanna make the best out of those two full days. I'm not exactly sure what else we can take in. I would really like to try to get out there and get some more video of some different things that I haven't been able to because of being sick. But, uh, all right y'all, from the Philippines, it is, I don't even know what time it is, honestly, I have no clue. But it's, it's uh, evening here, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.